Timmy. Come over here. Come on, Sammy. Sammy, don't be scared of them. Sammy. Come on. Come, let's go outside. Come. Come, Sammy. Come. Hey, everybody. A quick late night video. I know Zoe's been doing some updates for all of you with all of our big big gorgeous babies from house one so i thought i would jump on because i was reading the comments and all i was reading was how's sammy how's sammy how's sammy here baby you want a treat <laughs> yes i guess you do easy baby easy come here sammy come here he's doing great he's doing fantastic he got a medicated bath. I don't have anything, honey. Sammy got a medicated bath. He's, his hair is growing in like a little chia pet. Good evening, everyone. Sorry, it's been a very, very long day. We had a lot of great things happening today. If any of you missed our live video feed from earlier today, we had Grandpa, who's now a key, adopted by our beautiful Pam and her mom. Shelly and I did that awesome adoption. Lots of tears shed on that one, for sure. So many different emotions going through us. I know, wasn't it great, Eileen, on Grandpa? And I received two updates from Mommy Pam. Let's just say that he jumped up in her vanity to look at himself in the mirror. <laughs> and I'm talking about the Catahoula Grandpa that was missing for five days and scaled our fence. Um... And he's sleeping in bed with, with Mama Pam, so things are really good following her all around the house. Bubbly, sweet little Bubbly, who was adopted uh, to our wonderful Ken and Barbie. Doing amazing, met the pack, fit right in. And I'm outside with, come here, Sam, Sam, come here. Sam loves cheats, right, Sammy? Come here, Sammy, Sammy, come. Listen, I don't know what his breed is, but everybody seems to think that he is a sheepdog. I don't know, guys. He's small, and they, the doctors say he's at least eight months, if not a little bit more. Um, I don't know what he is, but if you are looking to adopt Sammy because you think he's a sheepdog, he may not be a sheepdog. Let me just say that to you. Um, he could be Dane Mix. I don't know what he is, but we did get a DNA kit. Uh, once we get the DNA kit, we'll do the DNA. We're going to do a challenge to try to raise some funds for all these massive, massive, massive medical bills that we have going on. Um, on another note, we also, our beautiful Shadow. Do you remember Shadow? The scruffy that I picked up in, uh, I got a call, uh, the same area that Grandpa went missing. Well, uh, the foster to adopt reached out to us and um, he was uh, taken to the hospital last night he was coughing um, some vomiting he had a fever and she just thought it was too much for her to handle because she already has a sick dog so mm -hmm. Tiffany went and picked up Shadow and he is currently also at Blue Pearl uh, getting testing done um, he's on antibiotics Shadow I'm talking about not not Sammy in front of me uh, he's at the hospital along with Amanda and Gamma. So we have a very full plate right now. So Shadow is available once he is healed and he is available for adoption. Um, all the beautiful babies that are at House One that Zoe was doing all the updates. Sammy is available for adoption. I'm getting a lot of out-of-staters. Um, everybody that's reaching out, out-of-state, out-of-state. Guys, we, we are really diligent. I want to do a home check. I want to be able to walk the house. I want to be able to meet the people. I want to be able to um, meet any existing dogs in the house to make sure we do a meet and greet and everybody's compatible. That's how we do it here at 100 plus. So we really need somebody driving distance that we can do all of those things to make sure um, that Sammy is gets into the right perfect home. We do not ship, we do not transport. Even if you want to pay for transport, we're not putting our dogs on transport. I'm sorry. We have had too many mishaps. Come on, you look at look at just every rescue out there and the shelters of people that adopt and return or give them away. That's not happening. I need to be able to get my hands on my dogs if something doesn't work out. 
you know I mean there are a, a great wonderful adopters out there but there's also a group of people we've learned from over the years they tell you what you want to hear right Sammy you know what I'm saying right you get it it's so stinking cute um, but there's a lot of adopters out there that tell you what you want to hear and then they turn around and do everything they said they wouldn't do and it's very 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 upsetting disappointing four hours away is fine four hours three to four hours is fine and if it's five six seven eight hours away and you're willing to come here and meet the dog and it's perfect then we'll we'll figure it out we'll make the trip we have an amazing team that are willing they're willing to take the drive to get these dogs into the perfect loving homes right Sammy we're gonna get you in the best home ever yeah because you're so special He's so perfect, guys. Look at those eyes. Look at those beautiful, beautiful eyes. Look at that beautiful face. Nothing but let down by humanity. He does look better. He's healing, but he's itchy. He's on antibiotics, and he's on his medicated baths and medicated mousse. Ah, oh, baby. I know. He's so sweet. He gets cuter every day. I agree with you, Pam Martin. Sweetness. Oh, you all love baby. I have to be picky. Sammy says, thank you, Amy, for being so picky because I only want the best. I don't ever want to go through what I went through again. I don't want ever anybody to hurt me again. And that's why we have to watch our babies and make sure that we know where they're going. I love him too, Stacy. Oh, he's delicious. Wilbur's great. He's bigger than ever. 80 plus pounds. I had him out twice already tonight. Wilbur is walking all over the yard and getting his veggies and following me around. What? Do you want to go for a walk, Sam? Come on. Let's go for a walk. How about peepees? Come on. Good boy. Good job. You want to go walkies? Come on. It's dark out here. It's late. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? What, sweet baby? What is it? I'm going to zoom in a little bit on his face and his body. Say hi, Sammy. You're moving all around. It's hard to see you. There you are. <gasps> Where's Sammy? Where's Sammy? Where's Sammy? Sit. Sammy, sit. Sammy, sit. I'm going to teach you how to little command, Sammy. I have no idea what Sammy is. I, I don't know. I think he might have some Dane in him. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard. I know he has fuzzy white hair, fuzzy black hair, uh, white tip tail. Come on, baby. Listen, I'm not shocked at anything, honestly, anymore. Here, you want another treat? You want another piece of treat? Here. It's really hard to tell. Really hard. But he's adorable. Oh, he loves his treats. No, his eyes are fine. He just has that little stank eye, like side eye. See, they're perfect. They're different colors. His feet are big. They're meaty. But again, they're still swollen, and they're, the swelling is going down. So his feet are swollen. He's really petite. Look, I'm going to... He's really petite. I don't know how much he weighs, to be honest. I have to find out his exact weight. But he's eating like a champ. You ready to go in, honey? Come on, let's go night-nights. Come on. Let's get a treat and go night-nights. He seems very dog-friendly. Come on, baby. Come on, inside. Why? I, he knows right where to go. Right where to go. Want to go back in your spot? Come on. Come on. Alexa, spa music. Oh. Come on. Stations, spa on Amazon Music. Here, let me fix your bed. Oh, there we go. Here's some treats. Come here, right here. Go get your treats and go into beds. He has all his stuffies, his big, thick bed, memory foam, and his water, and his toys, and he's just happy as can be. Soft spa music. Good night, sweetheart. I love you. So easy. Um, another thing, we do not believe in crates. We don't cage our dogs. So we don't believe in crates. If you want to do a baby gate like this um, and separate him when you leave to go out of your house, 
um, and just until you know that he's not destructive. He hasn't chewed anything here. Um, he's really good with pottying outside. He had one accident the first day he was here, but he hasn't had any potty accidents. As long as you take him outside, he's perfect. So I don't want dogs living in cages. I don't believe in dogs living in cages. So with that being said, please go sleepies, boo-boo. Go night-nights. I love you. Everybody's lights are out. That's Wolfie. He had just hit it, had his last out. Uh, Binky and Wilbur. Good night, Wilbur. Hello. Where's your blankie? You don't want a blankie tonight, Wilbs? Why are you in the little bed when you have the big, big bed? Wilbur's all tucked in for the night. He's ready for bed. Nighty night, Wilbur's. Mama loves you. Such a big piggy. Oh, God, help us. Oh, God. I don't want to disrupt Binky. Vaughn is uh, sleeping. Vaughn is not doing well in the boarding. He doesn't like to be contained. Vaughn is the one with the scabs and the machete on his back. Jonah's an angel. Hi, Jonah. Nighty nights. Nighty night, Jonah. Joni's been out like three times. Vaughn, you want to go outside and go pee-pee, honey? Hey, Vaughn, you're sleepy. You want to go outside? You don't want to go outside? You want to go make pee-pees? Come on. Come on, Vaughn. He's sleepy. He does not want to go out. All right, you go night-nights. I won't make you do anything you want. So Vaughn is not doing well in boarding at all. Um, he's very stressed out. He does not want to be contained in a room. He wants to be in a house with a person, and he art. So we're desperately, desperately, desperately looking for a home for Vaughn. I don't know, and I don't believe Vaughn is very dog friendly um, or cat friendly. So it makes it more challenging. I mean, he was out in the street survival. Come on, last time. Come on, let's go, boys. Uh, Waldo and Bryson are mine and Carol's. And they're going nowhere. They're so bonded. Yes, Vaughn desperately, desperately needs a home. And he's not, like I said, he's not doing well here at all. I mean, he's getting love and, and he's adored and fed great, but he needs a home. Some dogs do not do well contained. I mean, it's better than living on the streets, being beaten and, and hit with machetes and everything starving, but it's it's tough, guys. This is tough. It's very stressful on my team. Um, you know, we put our whole hearts and souls into these dogs, and when we see them not happy, it's really, really hard. Really hard. It kills us. Breaks us. And look at you. Look at little Waldo. You sitting up on the chair? Hi, Waldo. Hi, sweetness. Hi, baby. Hi, sweet baby boy. I love you. Bri Bri, come here. What are you doing on there? What are you doing on the ramp? Huh? You working out? What are you doing? I hope the right person comes along. And guys, we have such a full house next door with our gorgeous Mindy and Gage boxers. They're such perfection. I'll tell you who's really killing all of us is Lola and Cookie. The little um, scruffy and then the petite pity. I mean, when I tell you how perfect they are... I don't understand why nobody's stepping up for these dogs. They are beyond every dog in that house. Sugar, they're all amazing dogs. I understand Sam and Susie are tough. You know, they're tougher. Albert's a tougher dog. Um, but don't understand why nobody's reaching out for Mindy and Gage, two gorgeous boxers that are everything perfect. Socialized, not destructive, potty trained, playful, sweet, affectionate. They love to go on walks. Same with Cookie and Lola. You know, it's one adoption fee. And they're going to bring so much love into your life if you would just consider them. So please share all the posts that we put up, these live videos that we put the work into. Please share. Red is in a foster right now. Great foster to adopt. Um, hoping that it works out so he's not there. That's where Mindy and Gage took over Red's room. No, Waldo and Bryson will be eventually going home with us. Um, not right now. They're very happy here. They're very spoiled here. There's somebody here 24-7. They're never alone. 
Uh, they get more love and attention than most people's personal dogs, to be honest with you. I think they're, they, they're never alone, ever, ever. And they rotated their outside in and out, in and out, in and out. Yes, yeah, Zoe did a fantastic job updating all of you. The mommy, the poppies, aren't they delicious? Oh my God, I can't. Um, mommy, uh, Cammy and her puppies. And everybody kept asking over and over and over again about the seventh puppy. Um, what happened with those mommy and puppies was a, a friend of mine, um, she, re she picked them up, brought them to the vet. And um, in the seventh puppy had a cleft palate and couldn't eat on its own couldn't nurse with the mommy so one of the vet techs said she would take the puppy home take care of it and I think she fell in love with the puppy I do believe she may be keeping it if I'm not mistaken um, trying to reach out to them we had a tough time getting in contact with them today so hopefully I'll get some info on that uh, tomorrow um, and then of course Amanda and Gamma I, I should have more of an update as they were supposed to do an ultrasound today on Gamma but the fact that they're both resting comfortably, eating, um, and, and doing well, I'm super grateful because I'll be honest with you, I wasn't too sure about Gamma. Um, Amanda had a, had a, had a pyometra, so she's on another antibiotic, some fluids, and eating, and resting comfortably, so thank God. And again, Shadow is now at Blue Pearl because Shadow was brought back. He's now back with us. Um, wasn't a fit for them. And uh, he has a touch of pneumonia and a temperature, a fever. So... Oh, just doesn't end one emergency after another what can I tell you we also have little birdie that we took in a little dog about eight nine years old little white Maltese she's a frisky little one um, she'd do best with you know uh, somebody that's not a coochie coo wanting a dog that's in your face just letting her do her thing um, she's a really easy dog but you have to understand her personality because she's been abused she's as big as a minute maybe eight nine 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 pounds if that um, and then, of course, I did the update today on Kai, the little Yorkie that was found running the streets in Hollywood. So Kai is with our foster Sally. Um, and as soon as the time is up and no owner comes forward, then we can post little Kai, the Yorkie, who's adorable. I'm sure they'll be fighting over him. Um, he'll be up for adoption. He's not potty trained, but they're working on it. But he's a great little dog and dog friendly. So I'm trying to give you guys all the updates. It's exhausting. But I'm reading all the questions of you asking us what's happening. So I figured now's the time to update everybody before I shut down for the night and call it a night. Waldo, are you guys ready to go to bed? What do you think? You want to go to bed? You want to treat and go to bed? Um, on Breeze, the Australian Shepherd that the gentleman asked me, reached out to me, um, to help him with the traps. So apparently she's been seen in an opposite location. I told him he had to put up much, many more signs because he wasn't getting any calls. So we didn't even know where she was. Um, apparently they've seen her in all different locations. Another grandpa just running all over the place out by Rock Island and she's just seen everywhere. So right now the trap is not working because she's moving. Um, she's not staying in one place. So that's it for um, breeze. I'm hoping and praying that he gets a better idea of a location and then we can uh, set up um, the trap and try to get her. But for right now, it's really tough. Come on, boys. Let's go night nights. Come on. Good boys. We'll get a little treat. We'll call it a night. It's, it's late. I'll bring this in. Come on, let's go. We're going to share a treat. They're so good. Oh, Grandpa's doing phenomenal. Got an update from Mommy Pam. Doing phenomenal. Mom, let's go. In your room. Good boys. Come on, keep going. Go into room. Come on. Let's go. You dancing for me? Are you dancing? You're both dancing now? What's for you? Easy. Bryson. Good boys, I love you. I love you. Yes, you go see the eat it slow, mister. You're gonna choke. I love you, babies. I love you. I love my boobers. Oh, I know this boobers. Go night nights here. Come on. Why are you riding your brother? Get off your brother, Waldo. Come on, get on your bed. Get into bed. 
eat it slow. <laughs> See what you did? You made me too fast. Okay, okay. Shh. Okay, all right. You okay? Did you swallow? Yeah? You get too excited, you think he's going to take your treat, right? Yeah, there's no fighting over food, guys. There's plenty. Well, do you're a little chunk of monka. You're a little chunk of monka. <laughs> What? What is it? What is it? Um, Shadow, it was the scruffy one that I got the call. I did the live video when I went out to the lady's house. Shadow was following her with no leash out by Martin Luther King. He had the burnt pads. He was a scruffy, blackish, whitish, about 30 pounds. Um, so, yeah, that's Shadow. He's back with us, and he's going to need a home. Easy. Bryson, go get some waters. Come on. Come here. Get some water. As Mama, come here. As Mama Carol would say, get some waters. Come on. Hydrate. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where's your bones? Where's your bones? You want to dance? Who wants to dance with Mama Amy? You want to do a dance party? Come on. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. <laughs> la 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 they love to dance and sing huh you love your dance parties uh baby eric now mako is doing really well um receiving a lot of applications for him and we did the shirt campaign um for mako so um for pitbull awareness month so we're going through applications he's healing well he's still on a little kepra for seizures but he hasn't had any um, and the brain swelling. So that's all come down. He got neutered. You wouldn't know that you two are neutered. These two love each other. They play so rough. They love each other. Stop biting his leg, Waldo. <laughs> Brothers from another mother's. Yes, he I get you all excited. I could get you all worked up. Why do you have to have the same bone? There's a million bones in here. <laughs> all right. Calling it a night, guys. Good night, boys. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Alexa, John Denver. You like John Denver, huh? Yeah. I see you in the morning. I love you. Go night nights. Nights out. Lights out. Lights out. Go in your beds. Sweet dreams, ah, ah, ah. sweet dreams. Go night night, I love you. I love you so much, so much, so much. And that's a wrap for tonight. It's 11.15, Ruthie's fantastic. Oh my God, Ruthie's in Foster doing great. She went today, I dropped off meds for her. She went to her follow-up vet appointment. They removed her staples. Um, she's doing phenomenal, phenomenal. And she has a meet this weekend. I don't know how good it'll be. She's perfection in every single way. So we have, like I said, we have a lot of amazing dogs. Amazing dogs. So please share all these video updates that we're taking the time to do. And tomorrow's a new day. Everybody get a good night's sleep. Sweet dreams. This is Amy signing off. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.